and he has shared his views, his perspectives on uh, what needs to happen in the transfer of functions in that particular sector uh, with the group. Uh, his views, I can say, with a lot of joy, were generally consistent with what the technical officers from both levels of government have agreed needs to happen. That this transfer is driven by the constitution and that number two, uh, on the other hand, the implementation of the entire transfer is a process uh, so that we cannot disrupt service delivery in that process of transfer. The ministry will continue to provide policy uh, to set standards and norms for the sector and at the same time support capacity building of the county governments in what the county governments need to do. The county governments of course will continue with what the constitution has provided for them to provide all the services that they need and perform all the functions with the support of the national government as dictated by the constitution. And uh, we came here on an invitation by IGTRC who are given mandates by the constitution to coordinate transfer and unbundling of roles and responsibilities at, for both levels of government. And from the onset last year when this administration came to office, we sat through the summit and uh, certain, we agreed on, uh, on an agenda and timelines. We came back again in June here in, uh, through the summit, agreed on a few on the things that were pending. And uh, in the last summit in December, we noted the progress of what the other two uh, advisories had made. And uh, we were given two months to conclude. And the reason why we are here today is to find a common ground on, uh, on uh, the, the, the roles, the transfer of roles between the national government and the county government. Uh, from the onset, you'll remember that uh, cooperatives and MSMEs are issues of bottom-up economic transformation agenda, which is the, the anchor um, uh, vision, mission of this administration. We know of uh, cooperatives that are in dairy sector. 80% of our dairy sector is cooperative-led. 85% of our coffee sector is cooperative-led. We know of our history, cotton and textile used to, we were a leading country in, uh, in uh, cotton production and uh, we lost it when our cooperatives collapsed. We are also active in the financial sector. 30% of our savings, national savings, are in the SACO movement. And last year we recorded 12% of uh, growth in the SACO movement because of close supervision and uh, administration. And because of that, this sector, the cooperative sector, is very, very important to not just the county government, but also to the national government. And therefore, the transfer, the process that we will, in, uh, will go through is very important so that we don't disrupt the service, we don't disrupt the momentum. The national government will continue to guide and support where possible. We will give our support. The Constitution has given us instructions. And we will lend our support in capacity building. We will, there will be sharing of roles. There will be sharing of of responsibility. There will be transfer. There will be one level of government ceding one role to the other depending on capacity of each government. So that is the spirit of our engagement and that is the spirit of our discussion. So we'll continue to support each other to ensure we live within the spirit of, and later of the constitution while at the same time being careful not to disrupt services. I think uh, where the, the functions have been transferred progressively and also the resources through the CRE, the, co the, the Commission on Revenue Allocation, have been charged with that role to, co to align roles, functions and resources. So I think as far as I'm concerned, 
all of them are work in progress and they are doing we are doing very well. I think that's all. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you so much.